With Lauren Green as its lovable lead, the Western TV series Bonanza premiered in 1959 and lasted 14 seasons before its cancellation towards the beginning of 1973. When all was said and done, Lauren appeared in 430 episodes of the classic series, and he was all set to reprise the role of patriarch Ben Cartwright for the made-for-TV feature Bonanza The Next Generation before his death. Despite Lauren's apparent fondness for the series and his beloved role on it, there was a time early on during Bonanza's run when and Lauren thought he had no future in it. Join Facts First as we explore why Lauren Green almost quit Bonanza after 16 episodes. Any fan of the beloved Western TV series Bonanza is likely well aware of just how integral a part Lauren Green and his character of patriarch Ben Cartwright were to the show. Without Lauren, there would have been no series, and it's impossible to imagine what the show would have been like if it didn't have the actor's presence to coast off of for all of its 14 seasons. But there was a moment early on in Bonanza's production when a future without Lauren portraying Ben seemed like a possibility. According to legend, Lauren Green almost quit Bonanza after filming only 16 episodes of the series. Lauren was apparently incredibly dissatisfied with his character and felt he might have more fun on another series. Thankfully, his intention to quit the series didn't come to fruition. Instead, when the actor expressed to the series producers that he wasn't keen on his character, the creative staff ended up making some fairly notable and important changes to Ben Cartwright that bettered the show. Apparently, Lauren wasn't all that fond of how high and mighty the character was written on the series during the early episodes. Bonanza revolved around the Cartwright family and its Ponderosa ranch, with Ben as the figurehead and his three sons as supporting players. Michael Landon played youngest Little Joe Cartwright, Dan Blocker played Eric Haas Cartwright, known colloquially as Haas, and Pernell Roberts as the third and eldest Cartwright's son Adam. Lauren's input changed the show for the better. Lauren and Michael Landon were the only two Cartwright actors to stay on Bonanza for the entirety of its run, with Pernell Roberts leaving halfway through the series' production and Dan Blocker dying just before filming the show's 14th and final season. If Lauren Green had made good on his promise to quit the show after only 16 episodes, it likely wouldn't have made it past its first season. The show remains the second longest-running Western TV series of all time. The longest running is still Gunsmoke, which lasted for 20 seasons. It's a good thing Lauren Green voiced his concerns about the character of Ben Cartwright to producers instead of simply turning in his resignation, as his input helped Bonanza blossom into the classic series it's known as today. According to Lorne, all the character of Ben Cartwright did during the early episodes was quote from the Holy Bible, point his gun at people, and tell them to get off his property. Lauren grew tired of his character's stagnation and pleaded with producers to make the character at least a little bit deeper. The producers took the challenge in stride and ended up coming up with a script that was good enough to ensure Lauren Green wouldn't quit. Lauren was satisfied with the character's new depth and ended up staying on Bonanza to portray Ben Cartwright for many more years. In fact, Lauren was all set to be the only original Bonanza actor who would return for the 1988 made-for-TV feature Bonanza The Next Generation, but tragedy struck before he could film his part. Bonanza made Lauren Green a wealthy star. Lauren Green's role as patriarch Ben Cartwright made him a household name and also made him incredibly wealthy. The actor was probably glad he hadn't quit the series after only 16 episodes by the time it became one of the most popular series in all of television. According to the late actor, he hadn't expected much to come about from Bonanza, and he would have been happy even if the show lasted for one season. Before we tell you more about Lauren Green and Bonanza, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. The death of Dan Blocker spelled the end for Bonanza. Bonanza lasted for 14 seasons, with its cancellation happening towards the beginning of 1973. The show arguably could have lasted a lot longer and may have even gone on to beat Gunsmoke's record-breaking run of 20 seasons if it wasn't for the tragic and untimely death of Dan Blocker immediately following the 13th season. Throughout Bonanza's run, Blocker's character of Haas had become a fan favorite and was arguably the reason so many people tuned into the show by the time of the actor's untimely death. Fans loved Haas, and Bonanza's creative staff had a heck of a time figuring out what they were going to do with the series after it was announced Dan Blocker had died of surgical complications at the age of only 43. Lauren Green and Michael Landon were the only two Cartwright actors left by the time of the 14th season, and audiences weren't all that interested in keeping up with them. Ratings began to dwindle significantly after Blocker's death, and the network decided to pull the plug on the series following the finish of its first season without him. By that point, the show was said to have have cost upwards of $200,000 an episode, and its significantly decreasing ratings made this high budget unfeasible. After Bonanza, Lauren became Commander Adama. 
Following Bonanza's end in 1973, Green continued working in the industry consistently until his own death just prior to the filming of Bonanza The Next Generation. A year before that, he could be seen on the big screen thanks to his role in the blockbuster disaster film Earthquake. But the actor's second most iconic role, after Ben Cartwright, was Commander Adama on the classic science fiction series Battlestar Galactica. In this day and age, Battlestar may have an even bigger following than Bonanza, and this means Lauren Green is almost as well remembered for the role of Commander Adama as he is for Ben Cartwright. He made his debut as Adama in the 1978 feature film Battlestar Galactica, which functioned as a theatrical pilot for the ensuing TV series of the same name. The series ran from 1978 to 79, and Lorne appeared in 21 episodes. He went on to reprise the role of Adama in the 1980 series Galactica 1980. Galactica 1980 wasn't as successful as the cult series that birthed it, and Lorne found himself seeking out new roles after filming only 10 episodes. The actor appeared on several episodes of The Love Boat as a guest star before finding a more stable television role on the series Code Red. He was once again given the opportunity to play a lead character. He played Battalion Chief Joe Rorchek, though the series only lasted for a single season. Lauren Green wanted to reprise his Bonanza role. Lauren's career began to slow down after the end of Code Red, and the failure of the series made it clear he didn't have enough drawing power to lead his own series. Because of this, Lauren was arguably very excited when given the opportunity to reprise the role of Ben Cartwright in a planned Bonanza reunion film. That film ended up being Bonanza The Next Generation. By the time production was about to be underway, Lauren was the only actor from the original series set to return. Sadly, tragedy struck before he got the chance. The actor passed away from surgical complications, just as Dan Blocker had done before him. He passed away September 11, 1987, and Bonanza The Next Generation premiered on television the next year. Although Lorne was set to star in it, he wasn't able to film a single scene. The script for the feature had to be reworked, and the character of Ben Cartwright was replaced by a new character named Aaron Cartwright, who was supposed to be Ben's brother. While Lorne didn't appear in it, his daughter, Gillian Green, had a small role in it. Gillian was born in 1968, just a little under a decade into Bonanza's run. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Lauren Green on Bonanza? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else.